An internationally renowned painter, portraitist and teacher, Gwyneth Barth is a master pastelist with the Société de Pastelistes de France. She's on the steering committee of the Portrait Society of Canada and became a signature member of the American Society of Portrait Artists after winning a prize at their festival, which was held at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Gwyneth's paintings in oils and pastel are in collections around the world, from the Palace of the Sultan of Brunei to the Patek Philippe Museum in Geneva. I'm going to show you how you paint a portrait in pastel. Painting a portrait for me requires preparing a base on which I develop layers that become the finished painting. It requires pacing one's energy in order to develop the full richness of the pastel technique. And now we're going to see about setting the stage. Everything begins with light. Here we have light that comes down at a 45 degree angle on our model. It's called the Rembrandt lighting. Please note the terminal line that's on the model and it's very, it has a very hard edge when the light source is near to the model and has a softer edge if the further away the light source will be. Now the background is something also that's extremely important. We have, um, here we have a rather mid-tone background. The most important thing to bear in mind is if you choose a dark background, all the shadows will melt into the dark and the lights will stand out. And inversely, if you choose a light background, the lights will disappear and the shadows will stand out. All painting starts with pigments. And pigments are in a powdered form. Oil paints are made with uh, these same pigments and oil. Uh, watercolors are made with these same pigments and uh, gum arabic. And um, pastels are made of gum tragacanth and these same pigments. In a solution that's, that's uh, more or less concentrated, if you have a very um, hard pastels, you have a very strong solution of uh, tragacanth glue and the softer ones are, are, have a very weak solution. So pastel is really considered one of the purest forms of, of painting because it, it, uh, it doesn't have the, the oils and the resins that, that change the, the colors uh, over the years. If you start with the soft pastels, the tooth of your paper will be filled immediately and you will not be able to build up the uh, uh, layers of, of uh, painting that you need in order to have a, a, a rich uh, pastel texture. So what we've done is we've added a, 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 a sweater to Andrew's shoulders and, and suddenly I'm, it, I, this gives me the opportunity to, to find something, something that's interesting down in the be able to, something that I can compose a little bit with. And so I'm just going to quickly sketch that in now. Starting to put in more of the background. Just also with the edge of a pastel, just the beginning. Influenced by the red sweater, we've changed the background to a complementary green. So I'm going over now, I'd like to go over things and just determine where are the warm, ed uh, excuse me, the, the hard edges and where are the uh, soft edges. This is all part of the, the aerial perspective of, of, of finding this. We know that this is a center of interest. We know we've, we've created eye paths around these, uh, just to, just to let the, the, the uh, eye around just 
around the painting back to the center of interest and back down here again. And also, the now I'm deliberately looking to see if, if I have uh, soft edges where I want them to be. Soft edges recede and hard edges, all, everything that is a hard contrast will come forward. Although fixative can be used at all stages of the painting to bring some tooth back to the surface, I usually only use it quite lightly at the end. The painting started with a simple premise that was light. It's built up in complication with the different steps. These need to mesh in the finished portrait, which must go back to the simplicity of the beginning. Ask yourself, do I feel the light in this painting? If you do, you're on the right track. I really hope that I've been able to help you and I wish you great luck with your painting.